What's up everybody? It's rev time. Today I kind of wanted to do rev time in real time. Um, I wanted to talk about the uh, the Proco Rat and how I use it as a secret weapon. You, you either really like them or you just really don't like them. Now on my pedal board I've got uh, basically a Proco Rat. It's like the V2. You just buy it at Honestly, Sweetwater for that's where I bought it for I don't know how much it wasn't super expensive and The reason it's on my board is because it's what I consider a bit of a secret Weapon because it just drags things out of me that wouldn't that I wouldn't normally play because of That particular type of clipping and I'm honestly not this is not going to be a video about all of the iterations of the rat and all the different, you know, when they started and all, you know, it's not so much that, it's just that particular circuit in general just has this thing that is so cool that just kind of wakes me up. And I, I don't know that this will always stay on my pedal board. And by the way, this is not the rat that's on my pedal board. This rat was sent to me by my dear friend, Tommy, uh, graciously, graciously sent it out to me just to check out so I could compare it to my brand new one. And I will say the difference between the two is actually somewhat negligible. Um, the only thing I will say about this one, and it's running on a nine volt, actually I have a nine volt right here just in case it craps out, uh, is, um, and I, you know, I, I, can, I can plug it in, but I just wanted to run it on the nine volt, which might have something to do with what I'm about to say. There's something about the way it saturates, it's subtle, but it feels better and sounds just a little bit more musical to me than, but it's very subtle. I would say, look, these can be pricey, the vintage ones. I would say just get get a V2. It sounds really good. Even uh, like Josh from uh, GHS, who knows more about this stuff and probably life than I will ever know. I think even he said, hey, just if you really want that thing, just get the, you know, get the new one, get the V2, it'll be fine. Um, but anyways, this one does sound cool, and I thought it would just be, you know, cool for you guys to to hear like an actual kind of vintage one. Um, but anyways, uh, to circle back around, I just play differently when I play through something like this. It does back off nicely, and you know, there's going to be a little bit of noise, that stuff. These are single coils. I got lights on sitting right next to a computer. There's all kinds of things that are going to happen, especially with this much gain. I'm using my D20 straight into the television set, pretty much like I always do. I, I pretty much, when I use that amp, I'm running it direct into my Apogee Quartet, and that's how you're hearing it. My pedal board at this right now is not on, uh, so the delay you're hearing 
is in the box. It's just a simple Pro Tools delay. It's the same one I use pretty much all the time. It's like 274 milliseconds, maybe four repeats. So that's what, you know, is happening there. Amp style pretty clean, you know, it's pretty much all the rat pedal. terrible but you get the idea it just you know i could go back and be you know look at that and go okay I, that was sloppy but i there's some things in there that i liked and i could actually write something around that but that's the whole point is this pedal you know pedals like this not just this pedal but pedals like these types of overdrive distortion pedals just bring different things out of me that i wouldn't normally uh wouldn't normally play uh, just using what I normally love, like my tilt overdrive and things like that. And that's why I consider this uh, a secret weapon. I've got guitars that I consider secret weapons because I, you know, they just, sometimes when I got nothing, I can pick up a certain guitar and it just kind of wakes something up in me. So here's my question uh, to all you cats. Um, and I love hearing from you. So here's my question. What is your secret weapon? Or if it's not a secret weapon, then, then what is it that really inspires you to play something different? It can be a guitar, amp, pedal. It doesn't have to be an overdrive pedal. It can be like a delay pedal or a chorus pedal, whatever it, whatever it is. Has there been something lately that's been your secret weapon? Or is there something right now that you consider your secret uh, weapon pedal? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time.